Now two flags fly above my land that really sum up how I feel. One is the colors that fly high and proud, the red, the white, the blue. The other one's got a rattlesnake with a simple statement made. Don't tread on me is what it says, and I'll take that. Hey y'all, Big Bub here from Big Bub Outdoors. I'm out here at Chef Mike's. Today's Tanner's birthday, and uh, we're going to be doing a little tutorial video for you. It's hot. It's real hot. Um, we got some new crossbows. Uh, they, uh, I looked this, there, there's a lot on the little one, um, but the big one, there's not a whole lot on it. There's one video, the guy wasn't too informative about it so uh i'm going to go a little deeper into detail on it um i've already got some scuffs on mine you can see i just pulled off where it says safe fire and stuff and that's because of the draw cord um i've already had it out and we've done some siding with it um so i'm gonna show you these crossbows um that guy he did assembly and stuff uh they're self-explanatory i'm not going to show you all how to put one of these together I'm going to talk about how it performs, the accuracy, and everything like that. So, what I got here is a silent strike from Real King. It shoots 300 feet per second. Comes with red dot sight, a quiver, four arrows, a sling, and a rope cocking device. Okay, draw weight is 175 pounds, solid fiberglass limbs, light, comp, uh, yeah, I ain't going to sit here and read everything. Uh, let's see, let's get, okay, yeah, here we go, important stuff. 11.5 power stroke, and overall weight is 7.78 pounds. So, uh, like I said, we've already done a little shooting on this, so it should be pretty close. Um, I wore myself out, so Jordan's going to be doing all the caulking today, and we'll all be doing some shooting. Tanner got, oh, and these usually run, I was just at our Rule King, they are not on sale in Terre Haute. Um, they're $239. This is their next step up in the rural king line it is not their absolute cheapest but it is a good quality um, for the price now i'll show you what this came from where, where was this uh, uh vincennes yeah the vincennes rural king turn this around so y'all can see 100 dollars is what we gave for this so 100 dollar crossbow um i didn't hook all the main sights that it comes with with iron sights and everything i didn't put none of that on because it's got a three dot crossbow scope it's got three red dots in there and you can change the brightness and whatnot on them and then tanner has got a silent strike 80 pound draw crossbow pistol so we're going to be sighting with it and playing with it i've got all the yardage marked out we've got 10 20 30 and 40 now what i'm going to show you all how this groups and how loud it is and i'm going to show you if how much drop it's got um if it's anything if it's worth anything um if it actually shoots anywhere close to what it says it should be able to do 10 to 30 yards with the first mill dot and then 40 yards should be my second mill dot and then 50 yards would be my third. Um, I've owned more more expensive crossbows, and that seemed to be what um, I had a uh, Barnet Predator, and I could do that with the Barnet. So we are going to see kind of if this is, you know, it, it's a cheaper crossbow. Um, like I said, you can pick them up for about a hundred bucks um, when they're on sale. About two hundred dollars when they're not. So, all right, Jordan, let's go ahead and uh, load this up. We're going to take a shot at. We got four arrows, 
Um, right now I'm going to just do 10, 20, 30, make sure that that's on, and then I'll do a 40 if the crossbow is actually on. But it comes with a caulking rope. Nice. Burying in that target, ain't you? Yeah, he tried to hit the water bottle. Shot through the water bottle. But make sure, see how he's doing this. You gotta make sure that them are nice and close. It's got an anti dry fire system. Is the safety on again? Oh, no, let up, let up, let up, let up. You're on, you're not on the. Let up, all the way up. You gotta be back here. There's a groove for that rope, and he was actually up here. There it is. Locked in. Alright, so I'm gonna let Jordan take over the camera. I'm going to take the caps off. I'm going to go down here. Start out at 10 yards. We'll go from there. Like I said, we got them all marked out. This is 10 yards right here. And this is going to be the first mill dot. Mike, working. Yep, all three dots are on. Oh, and it comes with a sling too. I forgot to tell you all that. All right. So I'm gonna walk down here. Uh, we're about two inches high. About three inches. So, we're going to leave it right there, and we're going to move on back, because three inches at 10 yards ain't nothing to me. Um, yeah, I want to see what it does back here at, at a 20 and 30. If it groups in there, I'm going to call it good. I'm still we're only going to use the first dot. Um, I know that's kind of, you know, you're like, oh, he might not be, no, I'm if I miss, I miss. I lose an arrow. These are the arrows that come with. I'm not hunting with these. So it'll have to be re-sighted in come deer season. Um, main reason I got this is for my girls. But we'll see how it works. And then if one of these guys want to hunt with me. Uh, Jordan's got his own bow. I got him a Bowtech Stalker. And we got 20 yards marked out right here. Got this little green thing right there. Safety off. Take another shot. Take a look. See where she hit. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but them arrows, we'll see if they come out the back side. Yeah. I'm laying them arrows on top of each other. Don't turn it too far sideways because it'll change the angle. Alright. We're going to go back to 30. So, so far, 10, 20, they're laying side by side. So, we're going to go back here 30 yards. Uh, we, Like I said, we got this all marked out with my range finder we haven't changed anything target's been sitting in the same spot we keep it marked with that big log so nothing changes and uh so we'll uh, get this loaded up we'll do a 30 and then uh, i might go ahead and venture on back to 40. But it has an anti-dry fire system I do like that. And where's the aluminum right there? A little piece of aluminum right here. This is 30. So take the arrow off. Alright. First dot. that one a little bit I want to reshoot it I ain't even gonna take y'all up there I'm gonna reshoot that 
I pulled that I dropped the crossbow as soon as I shot I didn't like that shot so I know that shots low I want to shoot it again I'll take you up there and I'll show it to you I bet I hit somewhere where it says block because that's what I was looking at when I pulled the trigger so let's do that again Take my time this time. I took my time with that shot. And then we'll see what it did. What kind of grouping it's got. These are all aimed dead center. I said took my sweet time. Make sure it's shooting good, and uh, I'm gonna reshoot that one that I I shot low. Holy cow! Let me show y'all something. Look at this. First shot, second shot, third shot. No, first because it's in deeper. Ten, twenty, thirty. And that's the one I told you I pulled low because I was looking at I seen block when I was look when I pulled the trigger and it's in the block. That's where it says block. Pull that out, we'll go to 40. So it's consistently a little high. So uh, I'm probably gonna move it down. Um, it is a little loud. I will give it that. Um, I don't think it's too loud though. Uh, yeah, he's having trouble getting it out of the block. I'm going to check the fletchings on it. Make sure they didn't get messed up. That's why these are practice. And that's a new block, too. I just bought that at the beginning of the year. It's only probably had about, I don't know, 150, 200 shots. Jordan's been shooting about 50 a day. So it's had about, oh, probably about 200 shots in it. Can't get it. Here, take the crossbow and the camera take strong arm boy that might be another reason that gave a little funny flight this is that one we lost mm -hmm. yeah Jordan lost one first day we had it lost it out here in the field and I cut the grass and I found it alright go ahead and uh Cock, cock it back up and I'm gonna go back here to 40 this bow has never been shot this far I've heard uh, things about these cheap ones they won't carry anything past 20 and 30 yards if it loses a group like that I mean that's just straight out crazy because that's laying on top of each other so I don't believe that it's gonna lose grouping And then uh, we'll sit and we'll mess with tanners here in a minute. All right. Camera. Going back here, we got a little pink water balloon back here somewhere. Busted balloon, anyway. So 40. Right here. Show them a little pink balloon down there so they know we're at 40. Right there. So I'm gonna just line up with my target because we all right. Sure tops are on. Now I am gonna use my second dot for this one. We're gonna see how it shoots. This is a 40 yard shot. Uh, 
never shot 40 yards yet. We've only done 10 and 20 with this. And uh, we've done, oh wow. Show my 40 yard shot, dead center. All right, I'll let you have fun trying to pull them out. All right, so my opinion on this, um, there are ways of quieting this down. It is not that heavy. My shotgun weighs twice as much. Um, I am a bow hunter. Uh, this is not really for me. Um, this wasn't even sighted in for me. Jordan sighted this in for himself at 10 and 20 and today i'm actually shooting so it was sighted in for somebody else and it's that's just how accurate these are um real king low price crossbow silent strike if you're on a budget you want a crossbow like i said it did 10 30 first mil dot so it's actually a little just a little smidge high um but that's that's nothing um you it, you seen it they're, they're laying on top of each other at 30. so uh yeah i'd advise anybody that wants to get into uh, bow hunting that can't draw a bow or got children or you just want to get into a crossbow and you want a cheap real king silent strike 300 feet per second i can't guarantee that's what it's shooting i do not have a uh, chronograph um I'd advise it. Uh, it's great. And just remember to make sure you turn your lights off. Uh, it's got a little dot right there. All right, hold that up so I can turn this off. Just take this little dot here, take the two, put it back on zero. It's off. So now we're going to go to the Silent Strike uh, pistol. Um, Tanner got for his birthday. So, all right, Tanner, this is all you, brother. I ain't shooting this one. This is all on you. Your little caps coming up here make sure you push that back down all right i put this together for him um these are a bitch uh i'm gonna tell you now it takes two people um because i had to put, actually put my weight on this i had to push down on this limb and this limb to put the string on it and uh yeah it's it it takes more than one person there I'll just set it up here i'll get it on there because that, that quiver is actually hard to put on if you don't know how to do it. All right, so uh, what are we doing first? We just going to have you sight, tried to sighting it in, get any accuracy out of it? Nope. All right, we'll grab uh, three bolts, and uh, let's go up close. All right, grab the third one. Let's go on up here. Um, we'll just kind of see what what kind of accuracy he's got. Um, we'll go real close first. About ten yards. A little ten yard marker right here. Um, aim dead center. Well, no. Center is a little weak. Um, aim at the where it says block. Aim at the zero on block. And how you do this is you press the little button in the back. Grab a little front here. These are eighty pound draw good pest control gun here and it's got an anti-dry fire system just like the big ones push the safety forward and then that iron sights you're going to look down through here on this and then put that all on target you know so aim where it says block and we'll see what it does you aim where it says block mm -hmm. shoot two more We'll see if it if it consistently groups. Um, probably not going to do a whole lot on this one. Um, if it consistently groups, I advise having it for a nice little toy. It's pretty quiet. Um, we'll we'll actually do some adjusting to it, but. Um, so far, it's nice. Ten yards, pest control. I'd say you, 
I'd say it's a good little pest gun. Um, I'm going to show you what it done. He's aiming at this O. I'll pick this block up. I'm going to lean it over. He was aiming here, that block, and he put three of them right there. Two knuckles wide. That's a good little group. So, for a little toy pest gun, um, I heard they sell hunting arrows and stuff. Don't move it up and down. We'll move it. It's got to go left and right. Um, they sell a bow fishing kit for these things or anything. Um, I think when I was at Rural King, they were like 30 bucks. So, for $30... And then it was like what six, ten or sixteen for a box of the the extra seven seven it was seven dollars. Oh my bad, I was way off. Seven dollars for a big extra box of like twenty more arrows. So it's worth that. Um, but I'm like I said, I ain't getting into big detail with it. So it's a big bub. I'll catch you out in the outdoors, on the water, or on the road. Bye-bye.